like a marathon. This is a marathon. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is a marathon today. We're not playing games, right? Hillary right now is fast asleep. She's sleeping so beautifully. She's sleeping beautifully. So we went, started off in Colorado, Iowa, Minnesota, and I did this, I did this. And we have the greatest people in the world in this country. So we go Colorado, Iowa, Minnesota, Michigan. Tremendous crowds everywhere. Pennsylvania. Virginia. I love Virginia. And then from here, I go to Florida. But I don't speak tonight. I speak early tomorrow morning. So that's, in other words, I have a rest. What time is it? Let me just. We'll call this the midnight special speech. Right? And you have all of the dishonest reporters. I have to give them credit. They followed me around all over the place. They're exhausted. Look at that. See, the cameras, they're sagging. Cameras are sagging. And they just said, could you delay it a little while? Because they got, you know, a little delayed because their plane isn't quite as fast. So I said, let's, let's start without them. Right? Now, they're all set. They're all set. On November 8th, we are going to win the great state of Virginia. And we are going to win back the White House, and we are going to do it. This election will decide whether we're ruled by a corrupt political class or whether we are ruled by yourselves, the people. It's going to be the people. I'm not a politician. My only special interest is you. You know, I used to be on the other side, folks, in case you hadn't heard. I think I know more about the other side than almost anybody. But I love the country. I just love this country. And our country was going bad. Our country was going bad. You look at the Iran deal. You look at our borders. You look at the fact that we're not funding our military properly. We have depleted military, the greatest people on Earth. But it's depleted so many different things. And I said, you know what? We're going to do this. And on June 16th of last year, we did it. And now, look, we're just about right up to the finish line. I say, I really call it, I really call it, you know, because that's the finish. But the work begins, right? The work begins. And we will make America great again, believe me. Real change begins with immediately, immediately, repealing and replacing Obamacare. And speaking of great care, Jerry Falwell, Jr. has been unbelievable. Unbelievable. What an unbelievable family. Becky, the children. What an unbelievable guy. Liberty University, what an unbelievable group of people. So I want to thank you. I want to thank Laura. Where's Laura? Laura, Laura Ingram, incredible, talented, unbelievable person. And General, where's our General? Yeah, General Kellogg. This is not a General that will say when they go in for Mosul, we will be going into Mosul in four months. We will get ready, everybody. We're going to come in about four months, then three months, then two months. You heard about that, Laura, right? Never ends, never ends. By the time they go in, everyone's gone, except for the ones that fight. And they're fighting hard. They've been given a lot of notice. You would do it my way, General, right? You agree with me, right? Like, you know, the element of surprise, you like that, right? When we're fighting, we go the element of surprise. It's just been announced that the residents of Virginia are going to experience a massive double-digit premium hike on Obama. It's a big number, folks. I'm not going to tell you what the number is, because I want you to leave happy. But it's a big number. But it's not going to matter, because we're going to repeal it and replace it. Much less expensive and much better. 
In the great state of Arizona, premiums are going up more than 116 percent. I just left there. They are not happy about Obamacare. In fact, my poll numbers are going through the roof. I think it might be Obamacare, to be honest with you. Over half of the counties in Virginia are losing Obamacare insurers next year. Premiums are surging. Companies are leaving. Insurers are fleeing. Doctors are quitting. And deductibles are going through the roof. Speaking about going through the roof, we got about 8,000 people outside. I hope they It's unbelievable. The response is just, you know, it's almost like a response to common sense. It's much more complicated than that, but it's sort of like a response to common sense, right? Yet Hillary Clinton wants to double down on Obamacare, making it even more expensive than it is right now, which is hard to believe. I'm asking for your vote so we can together repeal and replace Obamacare and save health care for every family in Virginia and the United States. We're going to save it. Real change also means restoring honesty to our government. Hillary Clinton is the most corrupt person ever to seek the office of the presidency of the United States. She bleached and deleted 33,000 emails after receiving a congressional subpoena. And you heard about today. You heard about today. But right now, she's being protected by a totally rigged system. I've been talking about the rigged system, folks. I understand the rigged system. I understand this is a rigged system. This is a rigged system. Hillary Clinton is guilty. She knows it. The FBI knows it. The people, the FBI, they know it's, I think it's very embarrassing to them. And now it's up to the American people to deliver the justice. Yeah, we have a very obnoxious young lady here. That's all right. You even find them at 12 o'clock in the evening. It's unbelievable. It's up to the American people to deliver justice at the ballot box and on November 8th. But you have to get out and you have to vote. Your governor has illegally given voting rights to 60,000 felons. He's letting criminals cancel out the votes of law-abiding citizens. You have to get everyone you know to the polls. We are going to win. We are going to have one of the great victories of all time. Of all time. This is going to be Brexit times 50. This is going to be... Are we looking forward to, like, Tuesday evening? Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of good polls, I tell you, I watch today, and I'm looking at some of these anchors, and they go, oh, they handed New Hampshire. We're doing great in New Hampshire. They hand, oh, look at this. Oh, they were thrilled. We're up in New Hampshire. We're up in Iowa. We're up in Ohio. I think we're up in Colorado. We're doing really very well in Nevada, believe me. We're doing very well. Big concerted effort over there. You know, Broken Harry Reid is working hard. Broken Harry. He is a broken. But uh, I think we're doing very well there. Doing really well in North Carolina. I hear we're going to do very well in the state of Virginia, you know? I hear. We're winning Florida. We're winning Florida. 
And I think we're doing very well in Pennsylvania. I mean, we're just doing well. We're just doing well. And these people back there, now they're a little dreary because we've been doing this all day long, but these people back there, they don't know what the hell is going on. This is not supposed to be happening. My contract with the American voter begins <laughs> — I don't mind you doing that — among the most dishonest people on Earth, believe me. My contract with the American voter begins with a plan to end government corruption and take our country back from the special interests. I want the entire corrupt Washington establishment to hear the words we we're all about to say, all of us together. You know that phrase that I thought was very hokey? Guess what? Now we like it. It's caught on. When we win on November 8th, we are going to drain the swamp. At the core of my contract is my plan to bring back our jobs. Virginia, which is hard to believe. I have a lot of property in Virginia, great property. You know the property, Potomac Falls and Loudoun County and Trump Vineyards. Trump Vineyards, great places. Virginia has lost almost 40 percent of its manufacturing jobs since NAFTA, a deal signed by Bill Clinton and supported by his wife, Crooked Hillary. America has lost 70,000 factories since China entered the word the World Trade Organization. You know that another Bill and Hillary-backed disaster. We are living through the greatest jobs theft in the history of the world. A Trump administration will stop the jobs from leaving America, and we will stop the jobs from leaving Virginia. That I can tell you. We will renegotiate NAFTA, stand up to foreign cheating, and fight for every last American job. As part of our plan to bring back jobs, we are going to lower taxes on American business from 35 percent to 15 percent. And we will massively cut taxes for the middle class. The middle class has not been treated well. And Hillary Clinton, by the way, is going to be raising taxes big league. Big league. You know that. You've seen it. We're the highest tax nation in the world. She wants to raise your taxes. We will unleash the power of American energy, including shale, oil, natural gas, and clean coal. And we will put our miners back to work. We will put our steel workers back to work. We will cancel billions of dollars in global warming payments to the United Nations. We don't even know what they do with it. And use that money to invest in our own country. And by the way, when it comes to that, we want crystal clear and clean water. We want beautifully clean air. And we want safety. The rest of it will put back into rebuilding the environmental infrastructure of our country, right? We're sending all of these billions and billions and billions of dollars away. You can imagine what's happening to that money. Nobody has any idea. We will also rebuild our inner cities. Our inner cities are so sad. African-American community, Hispanic community, not fair. The inner cities, you can't walk to the store for a loaf of bread. You get shot. You get shot. Worse in many cases than war zones. You look at some of these war zones that we see every night on television. No education, no jobs. We are going to fix the inner cities. We are going to fix the inner cities. We're going to help. We're going to help. And you know the expression I've been using? What the hell do you have to lose? Because the Democrats have run them into the ground. They've run the inner cities into the ground. They come around every four years, give me your vote. They get the vote, and then they say, see you in another four years. We're going to do a great job. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix the inner cities. 
And you watch. We're going to put jobs. We're going to have good education. We're going to have safety. And I think it's going to be something very special. We will become a rich nation again. But to be a rich nation, we must also be a safe nation. Hillary Clinton wants a — think about this one. She wants a 550 percent increase. And this is over the tremendous number of people coming in now of the Syrian refugees pouring into our country and virtually unlimited immigration from the most egregious and dangerous regions of the — oh, don't worry about it. We're going to build the wall, folks. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. We're going to build the wall. It may be almost 1 o'clock in the morning, but I guarantee we're going to build that wall, okay? Only in Virginia, only in Virginia can this be happening. Only in Virginia. See, I can say that because I live here a lot, and I stay there, and I love it. I have the greatest employees, too, the greatest people. And they like me. They like me. I like them. Oh, there's some of them here. So she's going to allow a tremendous inflow of Syrians coming, pouring into the country. And we can't do that. Her plan will import generations of terrorism, extremism, and radicalism into your schools and all throughout your communities. When I'm elected president, we will suspend the Syrian refugee program. And we will keep radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country. We're going to keep them out. We'll help them with safe havens, and we'll get the Gulf states to pay, but we're keeping them out. You look at what's happening with Germany. You look at what's happening with France. You look at what's happening. It's a mess. We have enough problems in our country right now, folks. A Trump administration will also secure and defend the borders of the United States. And as per this young man, again, we will build a great wall, and Mexico will pay for the wall. We've got to stop the drugs from pouring into this country and poisoning our youth and plenty of others. And it's a tremendous epidemic like we've never had before. You see what's happening. So we're going to build a wall. We're going to stop the drugs. We're going to have people come into our country, but they're going to come in legally through a very good and modern process. They're going to come in legally. And we're going to be happy to have them. And they're going to be happy to be here, and they're going to love our country and our values and our people. Hillary supports totally open borders — there goes your country — and strongly supports sanctuary cities like San Francisco, where Kate Steinle was murdered by an illegal immigrant deported at least five times. Thousands of Americans would be alive today if not for the open border policies of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Violent criminal cartels are spreading into all 50 of our states and spreading all across Virginia. You know about them. More than 90 percent of those arrested are here illegally. In Manassas, an illegal immigrant recently killed three and wounded three in a shooting spree. The illegal immigrant first shot and killed Brenda Ashcraft, who rented a room to him, and then shot and killed her son, William. After shooting two other residents of the house, he ran to a nearby house where he shot and killed his friend and slashed violently a 77-year-old landlady with a knife. The illegal immigrant killer had been ordered deported five years earlier, and everybody that knew him said he was violent. Please, please get him out of the country or put him in prison, incarcerate him. But the Obama administration didn't want to act. Last year, nearby Sterling, 17-year-old Danny Centeno Miranda was walking his school bus to the bus when he was shot twice in the back 
by an illegal immigrant. The murderer entered the United States illegally in 2013, was released by the Obama administration, and then murdered Danny. Everybody that knew this person, this murderer, said, please incarcerate him. He's very dangerous and very violent. A Trump administration will end this nightmare of violence immediately. Immediately. We will cancel all federal funding of sanctuary cities. We will stop illegal immigration, deport all criminal aliens, and dismantle every last criminal gang and cartel threatening our citizens. They're all over. It's getting worse and worse and worse. Weakness. You know what it's called? It's called weakness. We will also repeal — that's true — a lot of political hacks, I have to say. You're right about that. We will also repeal the Obama-Clinton defense sequester, and we will rebuild our badly depleted military. We have no choice. We have to. We have to. We will build new ships and submarines at Norfolk Naval Shipyard. And new modern aircraft will fly from places like Langley Air Force Base. You know, our fighter jets are 19 and 20 years old. Some are so old, you can't even get parts from. This is what our great pilots are flying right now. You can't even get parts. They take them from the plane graveyards and museums. Can't get parts. It's not going to happen anymore, folks, believe me. Our new foreign policy is going to put America first. America first. To all Americans, I say it is time for change and it is time for new leadership. It's time. It's time. Just think about what we can accomplish in the first 100 days of a Trump administration. We're going to have the biggest tax cut since Ronald Reagan. And Hillary wants to raise your taxes, as I said. We're going to eliminate every unnecessary job-killing regulation. We will cancel every illegal Obama executive order. We will protect religious liberty. Do you hear that, Jerry Falwell? Wherever you are, Jerry Falwell. Protect religious liberty. So important. Rebuild our military and take care of our great veterans who have not been taken care of. The Veterans Administration is a disaster. We take care of our veterans, folks. It's time. We're going to provide school choice and put an end to Common Core. We're bringing our education local. And we will support the great men and women of law enforcement. We will save our Second Amendment. You know, the NRA gave me their earliest endorsement. These are great people. Wayne and Chris and all of them. These are people that love our country, believe me. But they endorsed me very early, earliest they've ever given. And we are going to save our Second Amendment. And appoint justices to the Supreme Court of the United States who will uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. It is time to cut our ties with the failed politicians of the past. Hillary Clinton is the candidate of yesterday. You know, she's been doing this for 30 years and failing all over the place, folks. Look at what she's done. Everything she touches turns bad. We are the movement of the future. And there has never been — you can speak to Laura, you can speak to any — there has never been a movement like that. Uh, what we're doing in the history of this country. Some people say, some of these people say, some of these people who are not exactly thrilled with me say that it's the single greatest political phenomena they've ever seen. This is a big crowd, but everywhere there's big crowds. Everywhere there are big crowds. People want it to end, and we cannot have four more years of Barack Obama. And I think she'll be worse.
I actually think that Hillary will be worse. We're fighting for every community whose jobs and dreams have been ripped out and shipped out to other countries. We're fighting for every American who believe government should serve the people, not the donors and not the special interests. Once more, we will have a government of, by, and for the people. True. I'm asking you to dream big, because with your vote, in just — now I actually have to say one day. You believe it? Yeah. One day. One day! One day, I can't believe it. June 16th of last year, we started with 17 very smart people, some smarter than others, in all fairness. Great people, great people, mostly endorsing us. Ben Carson's been so active, been so good. So many great people, so many great people, but one by one, and they said, Donald Trump, you know, he has no experience at this stuff. He's going against governors and senators. I said, yeah, but we all sort of know how to win, right? Yeah. Right? And one by one, boom, 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 17, 16, 12, 10, 8. And everyone's saying, what's going on there? This is very strange. Anyway, we ended up getting the most votes in the history of the Republican primary system by far. By far. And won many, 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 many states. And now we're down to one seriously flawed candidate who's resting, building up her strength. You know, in the debates, they kept saying she is under debate prep. I kept sort of looking and I said, man, that's a lot of debate prep. That's been going on. Do you understand that? That's been going on for. I mean, like a week and a half of debate prep. She's been doing this stuff for like 35 years. Debate prep. It wasn't true. It was just a way that she could rest and sleep a little bit more. She wasn't debate prepping. And by the way, who won the debates? Who? Yeah, we did. And you know, it was only after that last debate that our numbers started shooting up like a rocket ship. People don't realize that. Take a look. It was after the last debate that our numbers, because about four weeks ago, they were saying, Trump looks like he could be having a problem. We had the debate, and then we're, look at the numbers. And now you look at the states, and you look at the polls, and they are not happy. They are not. We're going to have such an exciting night on Tuesday night. So we're one day away from the change you've been waiting for your entire life. You got to get out and vote. Get out and vote. We got a rigged system, folks. Get out and vote. Be very careful and get out there because together we will make America wealthy and prosperous again. We will make America strong again, like the people that are here at one o'clock in the morning. Strong. Strong people. Strong people, and all those thousands outside, strong people. I admire, I admire the people here. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.